Good day to each and everyone. To the beloved school head of Dinapa National High School, Dr. Jocelyn P. Balasuela, passionate grade 12 advisor, Sir Almer A. Amba, committed faculty and staff, supportive parents and guardians, and to our dear graduates who never give up and persisted in the desire to learn, mabuhay po kayong lahat. Feeling of greatness, honor, and dignity reign in my heart. For it is a rare opportunity for me to be chosen as your guest speaker for today's significant occasion. Before I go further with my speech, may I first congratulate the graduate for today marks the attainment of your dreams. Today is a proof that you have surmounted the secondary education. You have acquired the knowledge and skills necessary for you in stepping the next ladder of learning. Secondly, I want to congratulate you parents for you are now harvesting the fruit of your sacrifices. You have done a big part in molding them from birth until this very moment. You are the forerunners in the education of these students, molding their character and behaviors, abilities and knowledge. Graduate, I know you have your parents with you. Please hug them and say thank you and I love you. It could be Mama or Papa, Ati, Kuya, Lolo, Lola. A virtual club for our dear parents and guardians. The next persons whom I would like to congratulate are of course the teachers. You have successfully done great responsibilities in bringing these children to what they are now. Your undying love, guidance, and commitment to teach these students have made great changes and impact in their lives. We can say that they are no better persons because of you. Today is the perfect day to celebrate, to rejoice and to be thankful to our Almighty God because despite of our situation in the middle of the pandemic, I am proud to say that you all made it. The theme for this graduation exercises Strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic has the principles of being courageous and determined in every tough situation like this. That despite the massive changes and challenges, especially in the area of education system, congratulations, you all faced and conquered it. And you all never gave up. Thanks to our passionate teachers and to our supportive parents and guardians who made great effort in making this graduation possible. To all our teachers, I salute you all for being our heroes in giving these students the quality education even in such a very difficult situation that we have. Indeed, COVID-19 pandemic is really a big challenge and struggle to all of us, but it will never be a hindrance in achieving our dreams, and this graduation ceremony is a concrete proof for that. This graduation reminded me of my journey before. When I graduated, I already have a firm plans and goals of what I wanted and dreamed to be. I really dreamed of becoming a teacher. But that dream had to stop when I got pregnant after high school graduation. And I became a younger mother at an early age. At this point, I seemed to lose hope in reaching my dreams. Because it never turned out the way I planned it to be. Life was so hard for me. Isud kayo nga mong kinabuhi especially when it comes to financial matter because mga bata pa kayo may that time. I was 16 years old and he was 18 years old. Grabe nakaingon ko sa kong self dili ko musugot nga inani ra mi permi hantod inani lang mi hantod mi matigulang. I have to decide and take action on how to continue my study para mahimo kong teacher. 2 years after I graduate ko, that was year 2014, I started my journey of becoming a teacher. I enrolled and become a scholar. My journey in my college days was not easy. 
na yung mga struggles, ba't di kaya na ako tanan? Because I know, sa ako ang self, nga na ako'y dreams. How can I overcome these struggles if mo stop ko? Kung gikapoy ko, I have to rest but not to quit. Daghan kayong mga struggles na kong naagian, especially when it comes to operating a computer because nabihay na ko og 2 years sa akong mga classmates and grabe, how kay sila mo operate sa computer but ako, dili ka ayaw ko balo. Pero little by little, I learned those things. Kay, I know those were the important things and useful in my journey as a student teacher especially when I ha when I am having my OGT. So, grabe lisod but I know na si God mutabang sa ako ah. I finished my study after four long years of struggle with the help of our almighty God, my perseverance supportive parents and husband. When I graduated in college. It was like a cloud nine for me. Kay, di ko katuo nga, graduate na ko. Kay, sa mga struggles nga akong naagian sa akong kinabuhi, di ko katuo nga, nalampas na nanako to. But God is great. He helped me to achieve all those things. I am very thankful for God. After second graduation, I thought okay ni ang tanan. Nahuman na ang struggle, pero Wala pa di ay. The battle has just started. Need pa na ko mo take board exam. And that time, all I did was to pray for God's blessings and guidance because kinahanglan pa man ako 15,000 para mag-review ko. Or else, mag-self-review na lang ko. But, three days after my graduation, I received a message coming from the um, one of the excellent review center in Iligan, that is St. Louis Review Center in Iligan City, offering me for a free review. I am so happy and blessed that time, kaya nakaingon yun ko. Soul bad yun, akong 15,000 nga pang review. Grabe. Mm. On that day, nakaingon yun ko, grabe na yun ay kung si Lord yun ang mulihok para sa atong destination sa kinabuhi. September on that year, I took the licensure examination for teachers and passed. Grabe, na amazed jud ko ni Lord. Na amazed jud ko sa blessings ni Lord. Nga behind those struggles, behind those sleepless nights, nakaingon ko, this is it na good. This is my final destination. Teacher na jud ko. Ako naging nakabot ang akong dream to be a teacher. That is why in our life, we have to be intentional with our goals. Dapat, dili ta musugot nga, papitik-petik lang ta musugot nga, atong mga parents, dili manjud na, dili manjud na makaingon nga, makagasto, pareha sa masa atua nga, kanang dili makaya ang pag-support sa atong pag-eskwela. Dili tamo sugot nga ang kapubrihon maoy hendran sa at, sa pag-abot sa ato ang dream sa kinabuhi. We have to find ways. We have to strive for it. And we have to be consistent in achieving our goals. Kay parihan ako. If ever ba wala ko nagporsige, nangita og ways para makontinue sa akong pag-eskwela. Do you think I will become what I am now? A big no. That's why, whatever circumstances nga atong ma-encounter, it could be a twist for our plan or a test of how committed we are in our desired goals. After all, it's just you who can change your direction and decide on what path to take. Just like what I thought before, that it was there that my dreams will end. But no, I have to decide and take action because this is my life. And I only have the power 
to take the chance and choices on what path to take for the bright future of my family, especially sa ako ang anak who became my inspiration in pursuing my dreams. Life may don't usually follow the plans you lay out for yourselves, but trust God. Take action, be consistent, and persevere for your desired goals. Never give up and always pray because God will really make all our dreams possible. Follow your heart desire. It will take you the way who you wanted to be. Do what you love and whatever you feel that will make you happy, choose it. Because it's not the diploma itself that counts. It's about what you've learned along the way and what you do with your education you've gotten in your journey in your education today. Your future is in your hands. No one else's. Do something today that you will be grateful in the future. Work hard. Anything you can achieve if your mind only believes. Always try your best. At the end, whether you win or you lose, you get to win experiences that goes beyond anything else that you could possibly be. It's going to be hard, but hard doesn't mean impossible. To last, let me leave you with my favorite verse found in Jeremiah 29.11. For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Best of luck in all your future endeavors. Congratulations and mabuhay! To our proud parents, my dear graduates, beloved teachers, active stakeholders, and LGUs, visitors, ladies and gentlemen, a wonderful day to everyone. On behalf of all the graduates, I would like to extend my gratitude. During my school days, here in Tiniapan National High School, I learned a lot of things, wisdom and values, that shared by the teachers and my schoolmates. And I would be forever grateful for all of this. Success won't happen in a blink of an eye. It will take a long process, and now, we are one step closer to our dreams. Thank you and mabuhay! As we commence this unique moving up and graduation rites, I pray that everybody might cherish and live in their hearts the meaningfulness of this celebration. To us teachers, we may continue to not be just teachers, but inspiration and model to our students and to the community. To the parents, you may persevere in your lifetime commitment to your children, especially in their education and learning process. To the students, this moving up and graduation event may end, but it means it marks your responsibility to our society that you may apply your learning in your individual life. As a philosopher says, we study not for grades, but for life. Thank you and congratulations.